Fragile X Associated Tremor Slash Ataxia Syndrome, Wikipedia Audio Fragile X Associated Tremor Slash Ataxia Syndrome is a late onset neurodegenerative disorder associated with male premutation carriers of Fragile X Syndrome over the age of 50. The main clinical features of FSTAS include problems of movement with cerebellar gait ataxia and action tremor. Associated features include Parkinsonism, cognitive decline, and dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system. FSTAS is found in fragile X premutation carriers, which is defined as a trinucleotide repeat expansion of 55 to 200 CGG repeats in the fragile X mental retardation 1 gene. 4 to 40 CGG repeats in this gene is considered normal while individual with greater than 200 repeats have full fragile X syndrome. In contrast to FXS full mutation, which is diagnosed early in childhood, symptoms of FSTAS manifest in individuals over the age of 50. Like FXS, FSTAS is most common and most severe in males due to the mutation's X-linked inheritance pattern. FSTAS has an incidence of 40 to 45 percent and 16.1 percent among FXS premutation carriers over the age of 50. FMR1 mRNA is found to be elevated in patients with FSTAS in contrast to FXS, where the FMR1 gene is transcriptionally silenced via DNA methylation. In both diseases the FMR1 gene product, Fragile X mental retardation protein is diminished, but in FSTAS this is believed to be mediated by RNA toxicity, while in FXS, FMRP is absent due to transcriptional silencing. Symptoms There is no cure for FSTAS, but several of the symptoms can be managed with medication. The physical symptoms of FSTAS include an intention tremor, cerebellar ataxia, and Parkinsonism. This includes small, shuffling steps, muscle rigidity and slowed speech, as well as neuropathic symptoms. As the disease progresses to the more advanced stages, an individual with FSTAS is also at risk of autonomic dysfunction, hypertension, bowel and bladder dysfunction, and impotence. An individual with FSTAS may also exhibit the following symptoms, a decrease in cognition, which includes diminishing short-term memory and executive function skills, declining math and spelling abilities and decision-making abilities. FSTAS may also result in changes in personality, due to alterations of the limbic area in the brain. This includes increased irritability, angry outbursts, and impulsive behavior. FSTAS can be diagnosed using a combination of molecular, clinical, and radiological findings. In order for individuals to acquire FSTAS, they must first be permutation carriers, having between 55 to 200 CGG trinucleotide repeat expansion of the FMR1 gene. A definite, probable, or possible diagnosis of FSTAS can be assigned based on a clinician's confidence based on combined clinical or radiological findings in conjunction with the molecular permutation. Clinical findings are divided into major and minor symptoms. Major symptoms include intention tremor and gait ataxia. Minor symptoms such as Parkinsonism, short-term memory deficit, an executive function decline can further contribute to a diagnosis of FSTAS. Radiological findings are similarly divided into major and minor categories. As patients with FSTAS can have distinct brain scans from other movement disorders, a scan showing white matter lesions of the middle cerebellar peduncle is a major finding that can be attributed to FSTAS. Overall or generalized brain tissue atrophy and cerebral white matter lesions can also be minor indicators for a diagnosis. For a definite diagnosis to be made, 
a major radiological finding and one major clinical finding must be present. Probable diagnosis can be made off either a major radiological finding and a minor clinical finding or two major clinical findings alone. The possible category for diagnosis can be made with a minor radiological finding and a major clinical finding. The medical management of STAS aims to reduce the level of disability and minimize symptoms. Presently, there are many gaps in the research on the management of STAS, as the disorder was first described in the literature in 2001. There is no treatment modality aimed at reversing the pathogenesis of STAS. However, there are a variety of drug therapies that are being utilized in the management of STAS symptoms, although there is a lack of randomized control trials assessing the efficacy these therapies and support is limited to anecdotal evidence. Therefore, many of the treatments are based on what has been helpful in disorders with similar clinical presentations. There is no cure for STAS. Current treatment includes medications for alleviating symptoms of tremor, ataxia, mood changes, anxiety, cognitive decline, dementia, neuropathic pain, or fibromyalgia. Neurological rehabilitation has not been studied for patients with STAS but should also be considered as a possible form of therapy. Additionally, Occupational and physical therapy may help to improve performance of functional tasks. The progression of symptoms varies widely between each case of STAS. The onset of symptoms may be gradual, with progression of the disease spanning multiple years or decades. Alternatively, symptoms may progress rapidly. Diagnosis Stas has shown strong age-dependent penetrance, afflicting older permutation carriers with greater prevalence. Male carriers, age 50 and above have a 30% chance of acquiring Stas, while male carriers, age 75 and above, have a 75% chance of developing Stas. While initially described to affect male carriers, Female carriers of the FMR1 gene mutation have also been found to develop FSTAS. However, due to X inactivation, female carriers are much less likely to develop classic ataxia and tremor signs for FSTAS, instead demonstrating symptoms such as fibromyalgia, thyroid disease, hypertension, and seizures. Medical Management and Treatment Prognosis <laughs>